the Worth 4 Light Test, also known as the Worth's 4 Dot Test or W4LT, is a clinical test mainly used for assessing a patient's degree of binocular vision and binocular single vision. Binocular vision involves an image being projected by each eye into an area in space, and being fused into a single image. The Worth RES4 light test is also used in detection of suppression of either the right or left eye. Suppression occurs during binocular vision, when the brain does not process the information received from either of the eyes. This is a common adaptation to strabismus, amblyopia, and anisicornia. The W4LT can be performed by the examiner at two distances, at near and at far. At both testing distances the patient is required to wear red-green goggles. When performing the test at far the W4LT instrument is composed of a silver box, which has four lights inside it. The four lights are arranged in a diamond formation, with a red light at the top, two green lights at either side, and a white light at the bottom. When performing the test at near the four lights, are arranged in exactly the same manner, with the difference, being that at near, the four lights are located in a handheld instrument which is similar to a light torch. Because the red filter blocks the green light, and the green filter blocks the red light, it is possible to determine, if the patient is using both eyes simultaneously, and in a coordinated manner. With both eyes open, a patient with normal binocular vision, will appreciate four lights. If the patient either closes or suppresses an eye they will see either two or three lights. If the patient does not fuse the images of the two eyes, they will see five lights. The Worth 4 light test is indicated for use, when assessing the binocular functions, the ability of eyes to work in coordination, of an individual. It can be used to develop a diagnosis, or to support or confirm an initial diagnosis. It can be used when wanting to assess whether the individual has a normal or abnormal binocular single vision response. It can be used to establish whether a patient has the ability for the eyes to fuse the light that is received from each eye into four lights. The test is indicated with the use of a presence of a prism in individuals with a strabismus and fusion is considered present if four lights are maintained with or without the use of a prism. The W4LT can also be indicated when aiding a person to develop and strengthen their fusional capacities. If the images are unable to be fused the W4LT is still indicated to help to determine if an individual appreciates diplopia or are suppressing an image from one eye. In cases of manifest strabismus the test can help in determining the nature and type of the diplopia or which eye is suppressing, therefore, is indicated in cases of a suspected central suppression scotoma as it can be used to detect whether lights may not be appreciated from the eye with the scotoma, though in some cases of minimal deviation in the eye as demonstrated in a microtropic deviation a normal response of four lights may be reported, though it can be used in these patients to prove the presence of peripheral fusion and that they have bifoveal fixation. Other indications for the test include establishing an individual's dominant eye dominant eye compared to the other, and when evaluating reduced monocular visual acuity which shows no improve on pinhole testing. Whilst there are no contraindications of the W4LT there needs to be caution in interpreting the results of individuals with BSV in natural conditions as they may show a diplopic response under the dissociation of the test. Also in individuals who have abnormal retinal correspondence they may provide an unexpected response, and those who have misaligned visual axis whom a natural conditions suppress may actually provide a diplopic response upon testing. The Worth 4 light test is relatively simple to undertake. First you must place the red slash green goggles over the patient's eyes, with the red goggle traditionally placed over the right eye.